Gaslands, post-apocalyptic vehicular combat by Mike Hutchinson, part of the Osprey Blue Book War Game series. Today, we're going big or we're going home. And I don't see the back of anyone's head. That's right, we're going for the boss fight. Two big rigs going at it, tooth and nail. Hoof and claw, I don't know, whatever else you want to say. So over here is the loading dock for the uh, Super Center. That is the finish line. All you got to do is bonk into those steps or that platform anywhere and you win. On the other hand, you could engage in some mass carnage, which is a lot more likely and a lot more fun. Our two competitors today are going to be Optimus Grime. He is, well, let's start with the, the usual. About what you'd expect from a big rig. 66 points of vehicular mayhem, handling a two. This is Daddy War Rig over here. It's the guy with the uh, turrets on top, and he's packing a... 125 millimeter cannon. It's got three shots. He's got a machine gun. Those are both on turrets on the back of the rig. And then he's got a machine gun on the front. Now, that's about it for him. So he's uh, fairly standard. Optimus Grime over here on the left is uh, got a lot less firepower. He does have a crew of five. So he's got those, those five handguns he can fire with every time. But he also has a ram armor plating four times. So he's, got a, he's gonna take a lot of punishment. He's also got a nitro boost. Because hilarious. Here's our starting positions. The white truck is going to roll the white die for pole position. The truck with the red cab will roll the red die. You can see where they start. Our finish line is up past the church. You'll see it soon enough. If I get a tie here, we're going to roll off and we're going to shift up one gear for the start. All right, so we got a three and a three. That means both of these trucks are going to start the game in third gear. And if I get another tie, one and a two. So Optimus is going to have pole position. Optimus Grime is going to start off by using his Nitro Boost. That means using the long template. He does not make a skid check just yet. For that, he's got to use his second. And this time around, he's going to make a hard, what is that, a right-hand turn? He does need to make his skid check. Now, bear in mind, he's got five... He's got five hazards already. So he gets a slide and a shift. He's going to cancel the slide with the shift, and he's just going to go ahead and come whipping around. Now, I, you know, now that I, now that I think about this, maybe this wasn't so smart. Um, if I understand correctly, he has five hazard tokens at the end of that first maneuver or activation. He's straight and straight, so he's good. Then he comes around... And he picks up a hazard because he's articulated. But after that second activation, he goes to five hazards. If I understand correctly, he's good. He's just stuck with five hazards right now. If you think that the addition of ending articulated means that he should have six and I should right now make a skid check, let me know. I'm not going to do that because we're only like three minutes into the video and that would be dumb. But if I'm doing this wrong, by all means, please let me know. Daddy War Rig down here is going to take advantage of the situation by using his medium template. So he, I gotta get, let me start working on getting the order on these right. He's got to make his skid check. And with the four and the two, those can cancel out. He does want to shift up a gear. So he goes to third gear and that picks up one hazard. He just moves straight. So he's all done. Now that's the end of, and he's too far away to do any good. That's the end of the second gear phase, he is in third gear, so he can actually make a second move, roll in that skid check, cancel him out, and that takes him to right here on the third, and he is probably still too far away for any of those double weapons to hit. He is indeed. Uh, but he doesn't want to, does he want to, actually, he's got a pretty good shot here. Do we? Should he just race up? Or should he track him down? I think we're going to track him down. He's going to shift up one, which picks up a second hazard. He's got plenty. But it puts him in fourth gear, which is his max gear. And it does allow him... Oh, you know, these are both perfectly safe maneuvers. He doesn't have any hazards now. So that puts him right here. I forgot about that. You get a free shift when you're in first through fourth gear. Daddy Warrig is still a little bit too far away to take any shots. Uh, I've zoomed in on the action. This is our gear phase. 
that was the end of Gear Phase 4, so we drop all the way back down to 1. And because Optimus Grime is still in, he's basically closer to the finish line, we're going to give him pole position again. It being first gear, he is in a little bit of trouble because that Nitro left him with five hazard tokens. The good news is he's got a little bit of time to make things work. He's going to go medium. I'm sorry, not five. Because he is articulated at the start of the turn, he picks up number six. But he's going to roll, and he gets two shift results, which is great because he can use those shift results to cancel two hazards. Now, he may want to just cancel the one because... That means he's still got five, but that will allow him to shift up to third gear and maintain a little bit more distance between himself and his competitors. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shift up one, and, you know, he's actually, he gets, uh, I take it back. Because he is doing a trivial maneuver, he gets a total of three shift results. He's going to use one to shift up and then cancel it with that free one. He's going to use the two to knock his six hazards down to four and he has successfully made the corner then because he doesn't have any weapons to shoot it's going to be uh and in fourth it's going to be his turn and in fourth gear daddy war rig can do a trivial maneuver straight now he is in fourth gear which may be a bit of a problem uh but not until next turn he does not have line of sight in this phase and I think oh he still needs to do a skid check though and uh, with a 5 and a 3 we can reroll that 3 so he can shift up or down as he chooses but he's not going to do he's not going to do either of those actually he could do a free shift down to 3rd that's not a bad idea kind of looking ahead to what's going on he's going to use that extra to shift down to third, and um, you'll see why in the next fail. That was phase, gear phase number one, and now we're on to gear phase number two. And Optimus Grime is going to do the usual. He's going to head on up. That is a trivial maneuver, so he can reduce his hazards by one. He's got no weapons. And now Daddy Warrig is going to make a gentle turn. He is in, oh. He's in third gear. What's he going to do? He might have made a ter I might have made a terrible mistake. So he finishes right there. It's a trivial maneuver. He's in third gear. He's happy with that. So he stops right there. Oh, he's got to, oh, he's got to do a skid check, doesn't he? And uh, that just cancels out. Oh, wait a minute. A five and a two, so it just cancels out. Uh, he's going to do his skid check, and he gets nothing. And then we are on. But he now has his line of sight for both of his turreted weapons. Let's check our double distance, shall we? Still too far away. He's going to have to make up some ground if he wants to catch Optimus. As you can see, he's going to have to shoot this gap. And yeah, we're kind of violating the, uh, the you touch it, you use it rule. We're going to use the Veer. He's in third gear, which makes this a neutral situation. And we'll drop our template down right there, and we'll roll our skid dice with a couple of shifts in third gear do we want to stay in third gear do we want to shift up five that's going to leave him in this position so he ends articulated he picks up a hazard for that hey tighten up there guys and with the two results he can actually get rid of one of those he's going to need it for next time because it looks like he's going to be making a big attack in the meantime, Daddy Warrig is going to have to make a hard turn, and this is why he geared down to third gear, because this hard turn template is going to look a little something like this. It's going to put him up on the curb. Well, if we if we nudge it close, just barely making it, that's his first turn, which should leave him right there. Well, assuming he, assuming he gets a halfway decent roll, he gets to re-roll both of those, and of course he does... Uh, in third gear, it's trivial, so... Oh, it's actually a automatic hazard in third gear. 
this allows him to cancel one of those, and he's going to cancel the fact the hazard he picks up for being articulated. So he's done, and he, but he is still out of range. And here you see that nitrous, if we used it right, is really paying off for Optimus Grime. He has just got almost an insurmountable lead. In fact, I think we want to go ahead and shift Daddy War Rig up to fourth gear now. That's going to cost him one hazard, but he's only got one so far. However, because he's in fourth gear, that does allow him to make that trivial maneuver of a medium shift, like so. Now, he picks up a hazard because he's articulated, but he loses the hazard because this maneuver is trivial. And now, at last, he is within range to just unleash hell. He's got the big cannon on his trailer, you know, we should probably check. Those are supposed to be measured from the center point. Yeah, he's uh, he's going to fire the big gun and the machine gun both. Between the big gun, the machine gun on front, and the machine gun on the, the 360 turret, he's got a total of 12 dice he's rolling to attack here. Hitting on fours, that's going to be a whole lot of hits. Sixes are worth two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits all together. Let's see. He's in third gear. How many of those ten hits Optimus can negate? It's not going to be any. He takes a full ten hits. This is where all that armor plating comes in handy. He still has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He still has 18 uh, points of damage left he can take. They don't call him uh, Optimus for nothing, do they? That was the end of the... F oh! That's not the end. When you shoot that big gun, you automatically pick up two hazard tokens, giving Daddy a total of three hazard tokens, and he may be in trouble. Now, Optimus Grime is still in the lead. He is in third gear. Oh! That's the end of the turn. I think I forgot to adjust that up. So we go back down to first gear. And Optimus now is in the lead, so, but he's got a great line on shooting through this narrow gap here. There's a car in the way. That could be a problem, but, you know, that's a problem for later. As you can see, the medium template is going to take him, well, first of all, he is articulated. So we pick up one hazard token, giving him three, and then he blams into this car right here. The parked vehicle counts as an obstruction. Which means you might as well make a smash attack. Optimus is going to go up to five hazards on this one. He is in third gear, so he's going to be rolling three dice. But he is one weight class heavier than that car, so he's rolling five dice for the smash attack. And the small car is making a smash attack back. He is smaller, so he rolls the white die. And the white die gets two hits, and Optimus gets a total of three hits on the obstacle. Two more points of damage to Optimus, and then that is a pile driver attack, so he can dump this car right here to make life a little bit more difficult for Daddy back there. And that's the end of his activation. We are still in... First gear. So, uh, it's going to be a veer. What is, uh, Daddy is in fourth gear. So this picks up an automatic hazard. He's going to pick up two for doing the veer. Which will put him, well, let's roll his skid check. He is on the road, so he can cancel two. Hazards. If he doesn't shift at all, oh, he's in fourth gear. Can he even do this? Yeah, he's in fourth gear, but he picks up a hazard for doing it. Uh, he can negate the hazard for the maneuver and negate one hazard for ending articulated with that nice roll. Uh, he is now able to make another big shooty attack with another 12 dice. And all of these are going to be big hits. So it's going to be two, four, six, eight, nine more hits. And in third gear, all that Optimus can do is try to evade. And he's not going to negate any, so nine more hits.
Leaves him with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits left to go. <sighs> Cranking up to second gear now. All Optimus can do is plow on ahead. He's going to make that short. He'll go ahead and gear up to fourth gear, hoping. Uh, and he is going straight, but he's off the road, so he's got to eat this skid check. And with a one and a three, he's going to pick up a... Oh, this is a problem for him, isn't it? He's going to pick up a hazard, which will put him at six. And then he's also going to pick up that... What is a three again? Is that a slide? Oh, boy. He's... I think that might be the end of the game for him. Slide. Yup. Slide is indicated by the slide. Oh. All right, we're going to put this back. He's going to do like this, and then we need to drop that slide template down. And for the war rigs, what happens there? I mean, it's it's uh, it's going to get ugly here, isn't it? Um, do, 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 do. Yep, he's actually going to wind up like so, and he's going to wind up articulated. Now he, he is in fourth gear, so he does not flip. But his gear does drop down to one, so he just barely managed to keep control, remove all hazards. The player clockwise rotates the vehicle about its center point to any facing. He's going to go ahead and say, you know what, we want it to be facing uh, this way is much better for us. And then we move on to gear, oh, we move on to his turn. He may be in trouble. He's going to have to do another veer. And first he picks up his fourth. Then he picks up his fourth. This veer is going to automatically give him a fifth hazard. And then he winds up articulated. So that's going to be his sixth hazard. And he's on the road so he can re-roll this guy. And he can wipe out any two hazards. That's what he's going to do. So he goes back down to four. That was a huge roll. If he had failed one of those, he'd have been in big trouble. And he still is lined up for that perfect shot. He's rolling all the dice. I wonder if he wants to downshift to third gear yet. Nah, probably not yet. So all the dice, and he gets a total of one, two, three, four, five, six hits. And in first gear, all that Optimus can do is try to avoid one of them, and he fails. So Optimus is now down to just one hit point left. And he's not at... Oh, I think this game is almost over. Look at this. Still in fourth gear. Daddy, who hasn't taken any damage whatsoever, is going to be able to cruise on up. He's going to make his handling check. Uh, he is off the road, so he's got to live with those. But uh, he can eliminate two hazards, which is all he needs to do. And he is so there. Not only does he get to roll his attack for all of the big weapons, he has two more crew members that, now that they're within medium, he is going to get two handgun shots off as well. So we'll re-roll these as the handgun shots. And that's a lot of damage. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. That's like 14 points of damage. He's got one left. That cannon is... I think it's third gear. That cannon is huge. That's the end of the game, by the way. He just uh, completely wipes him out. Now, wait, wait, let's go ahead and play out the thing, because, you know, part of this is a, a, a learning exercise for me. I wonder if he... Uh, I wonder if he would have hit that guy. I don't think he did. Um, part of this is a learning exercise for me. So when you lose your last hull point... You make a short, straight move forward. So he's just going to go right up to the building. Uh, right into the church. That's no good. He's got no hazard tokens. He's in gear one. Become a wreck. Check for explosion. Uh, he's a heavyweight, so... Turn it over onto its roof. Well, we're going to turn it on its side. Should have transformed before you rolled out there, Optimus. Move the wrecked vehicle. Let's see. Uh, become a wreck. Check for explosion. Roll D6. He doesn't have any ammo tokens. It's only going to be on a 6 that he explodes. And he does not explode. But it is still gear phase number 4 now. 
And the big boy is going to have to make a gentle turn. He is in fourth gear. So that's a fairly neutral situation. Boop, 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 boop. And he's going to, well, I get, you know, I always get the order wrong. One of these days I'm going to get this right. You place the template, you roll your skid checks. He picks up two hazards. He's only got one. So he is going to be able to pull out of this without also dying. Once again, speed kills, but it kills the guy that opted for speed instead of muscle. I've been watching a lot of battle reports like uh, Concrete City and uh, a couple of other guys, and it looks like in this game, all the maneuverability in the world just isn't going to do you a whole lot of good, particularly when you're going up against a guy with a total of 12 dice, 360 firing arc. Crazy long range. Even a battlefield like this, Midville, with lots of corners to hide behind, ain't going to do you a whole lot of good. Daddy Warrig pulls off the, I don't know, I wouldn't call it the upset. They were both 66 points of carnage. But Daddy Warrig pulls it off. By the way, Daddy Warrig is named after Daddy Warpig, who's the guy that interviewed me on Geek Gab. It's another show here on the YouTube. I'll try to remember to throw a title card up so you can check it out yourself after this video. Meantime, thanks for playing along with me, and, and tell me if you did the Nitro Booster right, because, I, I, you know, it seems like, like, like you should immediately wipe out if you're dumb enough to put a Nitro Booster on a semi-trailer, but it also seems like you should at least get that one because, oh man, if you don't wipe out immediately, it's only a matter of time. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. I'm praying for you.